the search continues. But this year, we've changed the rules. We're looking for everyday Namibians doing inspirational things. Windhoek Lager Ambassadors. Homegrown, world class. Hi, my name is Hem Matsi. I am a nominee in the arts category of the Windhoek Lager Ambassador Search. This is my story. I was born in Ondangwa, that's the northern part of Namibia. And then I grew up in Ashakati. And then I moved to Ventuk to do my high school at Concordia College. And then I moved on to Cape Peninsula University of Technology, where I got my degree in medical technology. When I was studying in Cape Town, I had this rich friends of mine. So we would always go out to parties and would of course be expected to wear nice clothes. And because I was not, I'm not from a very well-off family, I decided to just buy fabric and make myself little dresses. And then I'll go to the parties and then I'll realize that my friends actually want those dresses. When I was studying fashion, that was like about five or six years ago, people did not really believe in fashion in such a way. So it was very difficult to convince the bank to give you finances because the market was non-existent. For me, it took me a long time to actually have a, a showroom. And that was really mainly just because of finances. I went to my mom and I'm like, mom, this is what I really, really wanna do. Can you help me? When nobody kind of believed in the dream that I believed in, she did. Sometimes, you, you know, somebody comes to you and they're looking for an outfit and they're going to a, spe a special event. Again, of course, those challenges are exciting in a way that you look at a person's body shape because that will play a big role in how the design should look like and of course their personality. So I think all those things in would inspire a designer to come up with a final product. The idea of the Hamliner, it's, it's a mobile fashion shop. So you've got this truck that has got all my design and everything, and I could just actually drive to Rundu and open it up and actually be able to sell my products and market myself as the first uh, mobile fashion shop in Africa. It still has to be to go on the road. Last year in March, I was invited by United Nations in, in co uh, conjunction with the Ministry of Gender to represent Namibia at the Africa United Man Kilimanjaro Climb. And that was because of the activism that I have done on gender-based violence. So we're going to be coming up with Namibia's, I think it, it it's the first time that ever there was an exhibition entitled Unite to End Gender-Based Violence. There is a possibility of ending GBV, but only if we unite as Namibians. After climbing Kilimanjaro, I came back home and I was inspired to use that experience and to use fashion to come up with a range and that I entitled it Fashion Against Women and Girls Abuse. Um, so that collection was in, um, has been showcased in South Africa, Namibia, Ghana, and, and recently in New York City. And then I got an invitation to represent Namibia at the United Nations Regional Creative Artists Advisory Council. I'm going to be serving on the council until 2015. Now, since I climbed Kilimanjaro last year, I was very inspired to climb Namibia's highest mountain when we climbed Brandberg. We wanted to get some promotional things to give to um, the guys who travel from outside Namibia to come climb with us. But there was absolutely nothing that was Brandberg some inspired or anything. So I'm working on a collection that is going to be launched in August and it's a linen collection for both men and women inspired by Namibia, the landscape and safari. Because I feel right now at the moment nobody's doing that. The market is there so we're gripping the market and that's what that's what I'm going to be working on mostly this year. I think the, the greatest person has been my mother. I didn't have the easiest upbringing and childhood. Something happened to me when I was a little girl. I feel like I need twice the energy of a normal person. It's, it's just amazing to have those people in your life that say, no, giving up is not an option when you feel like giving up. Yeah. For Namibians who want to make a career in fashion, I think passion in fashion is probably the most important thing. It's really about just being who you are and letting your personality as well portray through your, your designs. Help us recognize extraordinary Namibians, people made of the right stuff. Vote for your favorite ambassadors and you could be rewarded with tickets to the gala event in June. Vote on Facebook or find nominee codes on Mobi in the press and SMS them to 75050.